Listen, this is why people don't try to do cutesy stuff in the vlog because things like this happen. Good morning. Um, welcome if you are new here to another video. My name is Courtney. So today I always forget to do intros when I'm vlogging. Like I just get on and I just start. I don't <laughs> charge it to my head, not my heart. Anyway, I am on my way out of the house to go stop by the library, but then also to go work out, which is why I'm looking how I'm looking when I get home. I need to wash my hair. But uh this book, so middle grade March has um coming on i did have a i went to the library and i got a couple books um that i wanted to read with my little um some i wanted to read just for me this was one of the ones i wanted to read just for me um i have been sick i have been down bad i got the flu before me getting the flu my family everybody in the household had the stomach bug i didn't get that but they got that so you know it just it was a lot going on but uh this book i still had and i need to return her to the library it's called sparkle and it's about a little girl who um who loves uh doing social media um her parents are let's just say um they were in the business and uh, she has a younger sister i believe she's in sixth grade and um she loves theater she loves performing uh, which is why she enjoys social media because she gets to um she just has an instagram that her mom manages and what is happening sorry about the noise but um her hair is beautiful she has beautiful long hair um her mother always says that her hair is her crown and glory and she just starts losing her hair and nobody knows why and again like i said she's in sixth grade and so we are following along to see you know how this works for her as someone who um has a, a following even though she is young but also has been compliments and beauty have been contributed to her hair and she, we we follow her story as she loses that this was such a good story y'all this was so good i enjoyed this so much um this is a book that i read on my own i didn't read this with my little but um this is not something that i think she would have um initially she just wouldn't care about something like this that's just how she is but 
um, just being able to have the conversation with her, of course, with like just surrounding hair and what happens when your hair, when you lose your hair, because I think when you say you lose your hair, we just think about the hair on your head. You don't think about eyelashes and eyebrows and she's only in sixth grade. I really just enjoyed this and I'm glad I picked it up from the library. Um, we are headed there now so I can return it and then I'm going to pick up a few books. I probably shouldn't but <laughs> because I have, um, you know, an ever-growing TBR. But, you know, I also haven't been reading books in hand. Most of the time when I'm reading books, they are ebooks. And so, um, even though I have books at home that I can read, I don't know what it is. I just... Y'all understand, you, you go to the library, you can't control yourself. It's, it's a building for the books for free. So, so yeah, um, my, head, my light is blinking, so I need to go. I'll see y'all probably at the library, and um, I'll be sharing what books I do pick up. Not me thinking I'm getting a cute shot to return these books to the library in a close, okay? I don't even know what time it is, y'all. Let me go ahead and check way too early it's 9 36 they open at 10 so i'm gonna go ahead to the main library because i know they're open and we'll just continue from there but listen this is why people don't try to do cutesy stuff in the vlog because things like this happen reasons right I tried to do this in the car uh, before I went to go work out but I the it was too loud because everybody's outside the trucks child the birds is chirping I let y'all know that the weather outside be frightful in Connecticut it's not today we at 72 degrees but it's supposed to get up to 72 it's not noon yet so I'm sure we haven't reached our peak but it was just too loud and because it was so warm, if I rolled the windows up, I felt like a, I was in an incubator. So here we are uh, doing uh, the haul, okay? And, uh, and that's also why I'm on the floor. Uh, fun fact, me and my friend, we have this running joke about like, why is it all the Christian girlies on YouTube sit on the floor? <laughs> what is that about? No shade. You even know that was a shady comment, don't you? Doesn't that get on your nerves and people like no shade, ma'am? You meant all the shade, okay? But we love y'all. I just, you know, y'all always be on the floor. I don't understand. Anyway, let me stop cutting up. Okay, um, choose to not be offended. Okay, here we go. Nina Simone, y'all. Okay, I'm also on my phone because I was out and about and it's it's dead now. So um, and then I changed I changed the battery before we left the house. I'm talking too much, y'all. I don't do graphic novels. I don't do comic books. But this is Miss Nina Simone. So I just felt, I felt like, ma'am, uh, huh? First off, the illustrator. Very good job. Amazing. Are you kidding me here? Absolutely nice. So I uh, decided to pick this up. My little really enjoys graphic novels and comic books. So, yeah, I just, you know, we know Miss Nina Simone um, as the activist, uh, obviously the musician. So, yeah, I... I don't know. I had to pick this up, y'all. I had to pick it up. It just, it looked very interesting. And even when I was just going through it in the uh, library, it just, it looks so interesting. The pictures are so cute for like graphics. I don't know if that's, I don't know how to really judge it because I don't, I don't do graphics, but yeah, we picked this up. <laughs> okay. And then y'all, so ever since um, Y'all know I'm into biblical fiction now. <laughs> Can I say that? Child, you only read one book. Anyway, we're claiming it, okay? Um, so now I'm like, tr I want to try little things, but not like really light on the try. I'm not really trying to 
full-fledged go all the way in. You know what I'm saying? It's more like a cute little Dorothy Dandridge with my little toe. Just dip my toe in. It's not really giving. Jump right on in. So with that being said, I picked up this. This is a mystery, okay? However, y'all see that right there? Mm-hmm. She's a Hallmark mystery, okay? Don't judge me. Y'all know I'm scary. I just feel like if it's Hallmark, <laughs> it can't be that bad, right? Anyway, it's a library mystery on top of that. So it's about this girl named Marvie. She finds, she comes across a list of four names and um, one is the name of someone who recently died. Um, and who may have been murdered. And so, yeah, she's her and I believe a friend. They're trying to figure out what's going on. You know, it's it's a library mystery. <sighs> Representation, little black girl on the cover. We're not about to skip over that. Most importantly, it's Hallmark. <laughs> and I just felt like it can't be that scary, you know, but we'll see. This um, is not a mystery book. However, y'all know I'm scary. So to me, it sounds suspenseful, okay? It is the other side of disappearing, I haven't heard anything about this. However, just reading the back of it in the library, it sounded really interesting. It's about a girl named Jess who raised her younger sister, Tegan, for the last decade. And uh, because their mother just kind of, she was reckless and she just ran off with her boyfriend who they don't really know where she is. So her and her sister, and I believe her sister's boyfriend, are headed out to go find um, their mother, um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I just figured, why not? Go ahead and give it a try. It sounded like it was interesting. Hopefully, it's not triggering. Jess, the older sister who is the younger sister, Tegan, it says that um she's keeping a shocking secret. Ever since their reckless mother ran off with the boyfriend she'd known only a few months, Jess has been aware that he's the same accomplished con man who was the subject of a wildly popular podcast. The name of the podcast is The Last Con of Linton, Baltimore. But I guess her her um her sister Tegan put it all together and knows that too. And so now she, you know, she's going to go try to figure out where her mom is and what's happening. And uh Jess is 31. So I don't know. I'm just hoping that this isn't triggering for some reason uh to me and I can get through this, hopefully. So let me know if you have read of that, if you've heard anything about it. This book, y'all already know how I feel about Christmas, okay? This is a Christmas novella. You know how I feel about romance too. Um, I love both of those if you're new to my channel, you don't know. <laughs> but look at this dress, y'all. My favorite color is green. Look at her dress. So cute, okay. Come here with the little drape of the little shoulders. Like I like anything with shoulders out too. I don't know. Just makes me <laughs> feel like I'm a grown. Give you a little shoulder action. Anyway, I heard good things about this book. So I'm excited to give it a try. It's about a girl who's just trying to, she's minding her business trying to get through law school. And uh, apparently she finds out that she's a direct descendant of King Maximilian, uh, the ruler of a small European principality called Montopia. I believe I said that right. And she's like, what? No, that's the stuff of cheesy made for TV movies, not real life. And so Christmas break comes up and I guess she goes and tries to figure it out what's going on and, you know, see how much of an heir she actually really is, you know? So I don't know. I just thought it would be a good read because again, I heard really good things about it. And it's a quick read. It's about Christmas. I love Christmas. I love that. Then we have uh, this book. So this was just on display. It's a short, little, cute book um, in the nonfiction area. It is uh, Dear Black Girl, no, Dear Black Girls, How to Be True to You by Asia Wilson. Uh, if you don't know, you're new to my channel. I love, love, love basketball. And I just feel like tis the season, you know, with the championship and Miss Dawn. I'm just so excited for her. Like, in my mind, she's, she's Miss Dawn because she's grown. And I feel like I grew up watching her. <laughs> um, Dawn Staley, just for, anyway, so, and I haven't, I don't know much about, I mean, I know who she is, but I don't know much about her like that, but except for the, the tweet that she kind of went viral for, um, when she made comments, basically, you know, basically just made a comment to the, the effect of how there's such a great, um, difference between the NBA and the WNBA when it comes to salary, so, um, yeah, very excited about it. And it, it was after LeBron's tweet, something like that. I don't know. So that's all I really know about her. So I figured I'd go ahead and give, give this a read because I mean, it's basketball and it's the season. Okay. Then we have, 
uh, this book. This is The Kaya Girl. I believe it's The Kaya Girl. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. But it's about two little girls who uh, speak two different languages, but they become friends. And so I think like I think we're going to see how they develop this friendship uh, since they speak two different languages. Uh, yeah, but I thought the cover was just so stinking cute. I have no idea how I forgot this book, Bookish People. Um, I have had this on my TBR for a while. This is actually one of the books I went in looking for. So um, anyway, it's about a bookstore owner named Sophie. She is uh, mourning the death of her husband. Um, and her favorite manager, uh, she just lost her favorite manager at her store. Anyway, she has an events coordinator named Clemmy. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, and they have invited an author, a renowned author, to the store to, you know, talk about books, obviously. But there's rumors that he's to blame for his, his recent wife's suicide. Did I say that right? Correct. And so... <laughs> So, They're the only shop that's actually inviting him to to come out and speak or be a guest. Meanwhile, Sophie, who is the bookstore owner, she wants to cancel this. She's like, wait a minute. You know, she I think that she's like not wanting to do this anymore. However, the events coordinator, for some reason, feels for some reason, believes that the author could be her biological father. I don't know how all that comes together, but we'll see when we read the book. But yeah, it's not really interesting. And it's supposed to be kind of like, it comes off like the way it reads on the back of the book, like it's a bit comical. And I like reads like that. I like those kind of books. So I love to laugh. So I figured I would give this a try again. This has been on my TBR for a while. So yeah, these are all the books. Hopefully I get through all of them and I can get some some things off my TBR. Um, this is the, the only thing with like, getting books from the libraries when you don't get through them and then you have to get them back. Now they're, you have a forever growing TBR and it should be the opposite way. Like it, it should be, the TBR should be going down. But sometimes I feel bad if it's past time. Like our bookstore, my, um not bookstore, library gives us like two weeks. But I'm a mood reader. So sometimes, you know, things happen or I just feel like I want to read this real quick. And then sometimes, you know, if you read a book, now you're in a certain kind of mood. <laughs> Anyway, I'm babbling. I need to go and get myself together. Um, cleanliness is next to godliness. I feel a little far right now. So I'm going to go handle that. I appreciate you guys for being here with me today. Don't forget to do all the things like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.